hi. I got a new guitar. Um, I miraculously somehow I actually got money back from the government this year, even though I had two 1099s. Um, and with part of that money, I found what by uh, other accounts would seem to be uh, one of the best cheap guitars ever. <laughs> Um, and, uh, there are a few other videos on this guitar on YouTube, um, but none, or even fewer in this color, which, um, <laughs> diehard Hendrix fan that I am, I'm a sucker for Olympic White, so, uh, I had to go back to the Walmart of music stores because they were the only one who carried it. But I survived, and some time later, it's arrived. I gotta turn my amp up a little bit. Uh, apologies in advance, I'm not sure how the audio or video are gonna be for this because um, I rearranged my room a little bit behind the A camera there. Um, so I've just got it up on my mic stand. Windows open behind it. It's basically summer now in Michigan, which is very strange because it's not you know July yet, so there should still be snow, right? Uh, but sun streaming in. I turned <laughs> I turned my Christmas lights on just because why not? And then um, fisheye lens. Hi fisheye lens. Uh, and audio. I'm not. I don't have a condenser mic on because I think I've explained in other videos. I'm just having really weird sync issues, um, so probably going to use a camera mic for this one. Shutting up, reviewing now. So obviously that's out of tune. Um, these are the original strings that came on it, uh, original setup and everything. I mean, it was it was definitely it was more than like just playable. It was playable right out of the box. Um, a little low to the deck for slide or for, you know, I, I normally like bigger strings um, and higher action, but I also normally like rounder fretboard radii, so um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this in terms of setup. I'll probably just get, go up to 10s because I'm pretty sure these are 9s. Um, I mean, Moral of the story though, if you don't watch it past the next second of this video, this guitar sounds good for cheap. Yeah, I was talking about tuning. Tuning stability is pretty good. Again, I haven't changed the strings or uh, anything, you know, in the restringing process. You can sort of do little things to make tuning stability slightly better. This has been pretty good. Uh, I've had it for a couple weeks now, I think. I haven't played it a ton, but I've played it enough that I've knocked it out of tune and retuned it, knocked it out of tune and retuned it, tuned it to different, you know, alternate tunings and stuff. But here's his in standard, and um, I don't have a camera on my pedals today, but uh, take my word for it, I just turned a tuner pedal on, and it's couple cents sharp always tune up to pitch boys and girls but I needed a humbucker guitar and I got one for cheap and I think it's gonna serve me well so, so now I just gotta think of things to play things now since it's kind of probably cheaper wood probably you know a really thin neck joint and stuff uh, shorter scale it's really easy to get some kind of like neck vibrato out of it 
Like I'm watching with my naked eye, I can see this neck bowing in and out. But I think it sounds cool. As long as it doesn't snap off in my hand one day, it will be golden. Again, this is clean. For me, in a lot of circumstances, that would be enough drive of saturation. Which Again, I don't know how it's coming across in the camera, audio, but... It's also my first time playing today, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, that's the middle position, middle position, cleanest. strings on this pretty easy. It's just, you just want to thrash it and not just because it's cheap. Like it has, you know, it's a, it's, uh, Olympic white I think makes everything look more kind of timeless and classic, but it's still, it's a Mustang. Like if you're kind of an older millennial like I am or a uh, Generation X kind of person, like you see a Mustang, you want to bash out 90s alt rock to it. <laughs> not play Nirvana, you're welcome, but you know what I mean. With overdrive. If you happen to follow my Instagram, which is the same account, handle, name, if you're interested, uh, when I got this, I posted about it right away. I actually find it hard to play because it's too easy to play, if that makes sense. For me, the strings are too light, the action's too low, the scale is too, <laughs> too small. So all of the like kind of ham-fistedness I'm used to getting away with on a, on a Strat, uh, just like, I'm like, it's, a, it's an issue. That was again, no overdrive pedal. Uh, fuzz pedal, why not? Uh, if you've seen my other recent videos, and you're curious which fuzz pedal this is. This is the BBE window pane, silicon fuzz face. Next pickup. notes. I mean, one thing that kind of came up a second ago, you can bend the crap. Here's a teaser for my next video.
haven't found my Instagram, you'll already know what that is. But uh, for now, actually, I'm going to sort of end on a teaser there. Because that's going to be my next series of videos. Um, but yeah, for now, wrapping this one up. Good job, Squire. Like, two thumbs up.